Keynote is part of Apple's iWorks app along with pages and numbers. It already comes pre-installed on all iPads and is very powerful with a lot of great uses across the class. Using the chapters inside Keynote can be a great way to organise slides, organise work and organise portfolios. So let's have a look at how they work. A really nice feature in Keynote is the ability to put slides into chapters to organise them. Now this can be really useful if you do a week's worth of resources like I do or this can be really useful for a portfolio for children so I'm just going to show you how to do that now now I do mass meetings slides from Tuesday to Thursday um, and you can see they're all they're all there and there's a lot to so sort of nugget navigate through so if I was to hand these over to somebody else they'd have to search and find the day but there is a, a very quick way to do it if you just take the slide underneath the chapter header that you want and drag it in ever so slightly you will be able to create a little chapter there. So what you'll notice there is now is that under number one, everything else is indented. And if I tap the arrow, each day is now in its own little chapter, which makes it much more easy to organize. This is also great if you're gonna use portfolios. So say I was on Monday and I just needed to use Monday, or say for example, Wednesday, I just tap on the Wednesday, start from Wednesday, and all of the work under Wednesday is filed away. That's a really useful tool to use. Also, uh, it's good if you want to use it for a portfolio of work. So say each week in art or DT, you wanted to, or science or whatever it is, you wanted to have one lesson, and that all the slides for that lesson could be underneath there. What you could do is you could then take, for example, this one here, and I could copy that one. I could duplicate it and pretend that that's the children's work, and then I could pull this in ever so slightly so there's another chapter there which is my work and I'm annotating it and I could mark this here by um, highlighting something that I might like highlighting something that needs to improve and then I could also go to record some audio and leave some feedback on there well done this is a great piece of work insert that and the reason that I've duplicated that slide now is there's the original work. There's my marking, which is slightly indented. So they can see on that piece of work, I have marked it, marked it, and uh, they can then make the changes to that original piece of work, or they can copy it and put it underneath again. So using chapters to organize work is a really good way to organize a week's worth of work, a term's worth of work, or portfolios.